Hey, what's up, everyone? What you're looking at, it's uh, Asus Republic of Gamers G16 Strix Republic of Gamers ROG Strix G16. And um, I'm playing Tom Clancy Breakpoint and everything it's maxed out here to its highest possible detail and I gotta tell you man this nebula screen uh, that they have which is a hundred percent DC IP3 color measurement or full white color gamut with a Dolby Vision uh, this laptop is just the, uh, the way the way Everything looks with 165 Hertz and 165 frames per second. It's just, it's ridiculous. I know it's uh, 1920 by 1200, but man, it looks great. It really does. But then again, it should look good because... We do have i9 processor, 13th generation i9 processor with 24 cores, 32 threads, 5.6 gigahertz. Again, let me just repeat that, just for, for the for the for the record. 5.6 gigahertz, 24 cores, 32 threads, man. On a laptop, that's insane. This laptop, it's a powerhouse. There's when it comes to gaming, I mean. Uh, there's no question about it. If you really want your games to look the best way possible, uh, this this Republic of Gamers, man, I can't find anything wrong with it. It's just perfect, dude. Even my desktop with a 3090 Ti is struggling, dude. Uh, and then you and you look at this. Think about it. The amount of money you're gonna spend on a GPU. You can actually get this laptop and enjoy uh, pure performance. It's just remarkable. The quality and performance here, it's unsacrificed and everything is running at its best possible way, man. Got going out of here. Don't forget, you got Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos built into this uh, laptop. get in this truck let me get my gun oh. let me drive Also remember my camera here, it's really not doing it justice in terms of like just how good this looks in person. Like, let me get these guys where they go. Let 
Got him. Oh, tire is, uh, it's flat. Get it. Because I shut the tire. Oh, well. Just park it over here. Let's go. He needs to rest. There you go. Chill there for a little bit. Look at this vegetation, and uh, I mean, this is just mind blowing, man. I mean, if you guys are not impressed by this, well, then I don't know what to tell you I don't know what to tell you man other, other than you know I guess you never uh, I guess you never experienced the PC I guess I don't know Do I have any help uh, I can use? Let's see. I think I do. There we go. There we go. Got it. All right, Colonel. Let's move. You know, um, Someone told me the other day, have you tried Breakpoint and Wildlands? I said I did a long time ago uh, on a console, but I haven't touched it ever since. But now with this PC version, oh my God, listen, listen man, uh, with a PC version, with everything maxed out, 165 hertz, and you know, I mean, I'm really hooked. Man, I'm definitely hooked, man, with this game, for sure. Uh, with the Breakpoint and, and Wildlands, uh, I'm very impressed, man. It just makes you want to forget about Call of Duty. This is like what everybody wants, man, a tactical shooter like this. Now... I know some of you are going to ask, but what about uh, PLGC to OLED? Have you connected it? Yes, I did. I did. And and uh, I get roughly about uh, everything turned on to the maximum, ultra, ultra, ultra. Uh, about 56 frames. About 56 frames per second, which is not bad, dude. Not bad at all, dude. For a laptop. To be doing a native 4k again native 4k with everything ultra ultra ray tracing ultra ambient inclusion ultra everything all right that's pretty darn good man that's pretty darn good and it shows you just how powerful this laptop is now i can hit 60 fps or more 
with a deep learning super sampling tree. But you got to remember, when you turn DLSS, uh, you're not getting an 84K. You're getting a dynamic resolution. So, you know, there's that too. But um, I can do a video if you guys want me to. I can show you, like, how this runs in an 84K. Uh, look, this, this laptop is pretty impressive, dude. I could even say it's almost like a desktop replacement, honestly, easily. I'm also excited about the Asus Li. I really want to try that. Uh, be a nice companionship, you know, with my laptop and uh, Asus Li. Steam Deck. Uh, you know, people ask me about Steam Deck. I'll be honest about the Steam Deck. Steam Deck, it's okay. The, my biggest issue with Steam Deck is a limitation. You kind of limit it on what can you play, right? It runs off of Linux, and uh, you kind of limit it on what can you play, what type of games can you play, and, it, and I don't like to be limited, you know. With Asus Li, it's a PC, dude. It's a PC. Uh, it's it's a it's a full fledged Windows 11. And you can uh, you can install anything and everything. You can play any game from Call of Duty to this to to you name it and anything on the Steam that you have. And, and that's uh, I think one of the the caveats of uh, of a Asus Li that that I'm really kind of excited about and stoked about. Uh, it's coming out on uh, June 13th. I'm for sure gonna get one, dude, for for seven hundred dollars. 100%. At least it's better than that, uh, you know, uh, split PlayStation 5 controller with a Nintendo Switch sandwich, you know. Uh, you know, I'm talking about Project Q or whatever they call it. And, and also, don't get me wrong, uh, I'm not dissing steam deck i mean steam deck i i had a lot of fun on it i mean i can play the last of us i can play a bunch of games uh don't get me wrong i'm not like trying to say that steam deck sucks uh i didn't say that so i hope you guys don't think that but when you look at it in comparison to asus li yeah you really can't even hold a glass of water honestly i mean because asus li just it's faster better uh, 120 hertz full hd uh you got better screen you got um a better processing power gpu cpu power memory you know um and you can play any game that you can play on your pc everything everything and anything uh it's a it's a pc in your in, in the palm of your hand so asus li it's definitely something i am gonna pick up there, there's no question about that and i'll do a bunch of uh videos on it i'll do a full review on it for sure uh probably a live stream maybe to talk about it you know so anyway i don't want to butcher this video any longer there needs to be look this laptop you know no matter what i throw at this thing it just it handles that like a charm but it should handle it like a charm it is a two thousand dollar laptop uh, it has the the most powerful CPU on the planet uh, which is i9 13 generation core i9 i9 uh, night uh, 1300 HX with uh, 24 cores 32 threads 5.6 gigahertz and if i overclock it i can actually reach six gigahertz uh which is ridiculous with 24 cores and, and 32 threads all right so it's it's, it's a purely insanity uh, in terms of like uh the, the the cpu that that it has and you got 40 series gpu you know 4070 with eight gigs of gddr 6x ram you got all that you know uh ada architecture you got deep learning super sampling 3 you have 16 gigs of RAM, DDDR5. It's expandable up to 64. You can put 64 gigs of DDDR5 RAM. You can put up to four terabytes of uh, NVMe SSD. You can, uh, maybe I'll do a video. I'll show you how to upgrade and all that. 
how to put additional uh, NVMe SSD storage. Uh, look, man, Asus is the king. Uh, and again, I love Alienware. Nothing against Alienware, but I gotta tell you, uh, Republic of Gamers, dude, they're they're kicking they're kicking ass. They're really kicking ass, and especially now with uh, the Asus Li coming out, they're also kicking uh, Valve Steam ass as well. Uh, so yeah, Republic for Game, Republic of Gamers, man, they're just they're top dogs, man. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, I'm sorry the video is 15 minutes, but uh, I just felt like I hope that this camera, I hope that this video gives you at least some idea how awesome this looks. Uh, believe me, it looks million times better in person than what you guys are seeing right now. It just looks million times better. Uh, okay, so. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching.